Hello once again and uh, welcome along and um, this time around I'm going to be doing a little bit of training with my German pointer pup um, Jess. Jess is now around seven months old and um, I'm very happy with her so far and um, she's showing signs of possibly being a gun dog in time. She's interested in scent, she's starting to range out a little bit and she's doing a few other little things that I really like. But she's not really ready yet for any training as such, insofar as I won't be training her to sit or stay or walk the heel or any of those things yet. I consider that she's a little immature yet. In contrast to Lady, my English setter, who was at the same age, she would have been doing virtually everything I've just described, along with hunting and retrieving sometimes, and she was much more advanced. Um, today what I'm going to do with Jess is just for to be doing something with her. I bring her out most days and I let her just run around and I'm observing her and watching her and assessing her all the time. And like I said, she's very slow to, to, to advance if you like, but that's part of her nature and it's part of her breeding as well. So I'm not any bit worried about that. She will come in time. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to introduce uh, gunfire for the first time. She's never heard gunfire before. Now there's one little thing that concerns me about Jess. Now although she's not a nervous dog, generally speaking, there are times if there's a sudden sound that she startles and that concerns me a little so I have to be extra careful now when introducing the shot because of that. So if, 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 you, ever ha if you have a dog like that or ever come across a dog like that that tends to startle at any sudden sound, it's very important that you you introduce gunfire correctly or you can do irre irreparable damage. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to enlist the help of um, Lady, the English setter. Those of you who are not familiar, um, Lady is an English setter. She's approximately 16, 16 months old, I think now, and she's well used to gunfire and is an experienced dog in some respects. So what I do is I will bring Lady and Jess together they will naturally compete as all dogs do and um, Lady will range out further than I would generally allow her to because when she's competing with the other dog that's what she'll do and I'm hoping then that Jess will chase her and because Jess will be completely absorbed in chasing Lady I will then fire the shot at the appropriate time and I'll watch her response. I don't have any fears about introducing her to shot. I don't think there's going to be any real issues, but like I pointed out, I just need to be that little bit extra careful because of that little startle thing I spoke about. So, let's get to it. Now, I've just arrived out here in, um, to um, fire the shot, or maybe even a series of shots, for to introduce Jess to gunfire. Now, everything here is carefully contrived. I brought her to a field that's very, very big. So she has loads of scope to get out from me, to go a good distance from me. Also, it's very windy, which will also swallow up the sound of the shot. Because as I explained, I am slightly concerned that because of her um, startle response to anything sort of sudden sounds. I also have enlisted the aid of um, my English setter lady, who's well used to sound gunfire and loud sounds, and she won't um, pay any heed to it. And generally speaking, pups will look to the other dog and they'll take their cue from the other dog. So now I'm going to get the two dogs and I'm going to bring them out in the field here. And what, what I use to fire the shot is in my pocket here. This is a six millimeter blank firer. And, um, it's quite loud. It's probably as loud as a 20 bore shotgun. So it's uh, plenty loud to, to do the job. So now, um, like I said, I'm just going to bring him out into the field here and I'm going to let him go and I'm going to fire the shot at the appropriate moment. Now the appropriate moment is ver very important. I'm going to fire the first shot when the dogs are quite far away from me and when the pup, when I say the pup I mean Jesse, will be totally absorbed in the other dog or some scent or something else it's important to fire the shot when the pup is completely and utterly absorbed in something else and as far away from you as is reasonable I would I would um, 
I'd be happy when the dog would be, say, a hundred yards or a little bit more from me. That's when I'd fire the first shot and I would observe her and see if there's any response, any negative response, i.e. a startle or any sign of nervousness at that point. And then if there is anything, any issues like that, we'll um, take a different tack. But this method has worked for me for many years and um, I'm going to use it here with complete confidence and um, let's get out in the field and see how it goes. So now if you look at this field, it's very big. And I've deliberately, like I said, chosen the big field because it gives the dogs plenty of scope to run out. So both dogs are here now and they're quite fresh so I'm quite sure that lady will take off like a rocket and Jess will chase her and um, I'll just watch for the right time to fire the shot. Okay lady, sit, sit, sit. Yeah, get up. As I predicted, now she's chasing lady. And they're at least 200 yards away now. So, get her back. the obligatory toiletries. Go lady, lady. Oi. Now there she goes chasing her again. Yeah. And away they go. She's not chasing her as far as I'd like, but she will at some point. I'm going to fire my shot now because she's completely absorbed. Now she did look to the left. Not ready. Call lady. More toiletries. So I'm going to fire a second shot now. Again, she just looked over her shoulder. No real problem, I don't think. Be careful. Come on. So I fired two shots without any issue. You'll have to forgive the wind noise. Eh? She'll look at the older dog and see if she's concerned and she won't be obviously. <laughs> Lady is looking for birds when she hears the shot. So now I fired three shots, no problems. Jess is not able to keep into the setter because <laughs> the setter is um, a fast dog. Lady! Gail! Get here! Hey, 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 get here! Come on! Come on! She'd love to be able to keep up with her, but she can't. <laughs> Call a lady back now. I want them to be close together, just like now. Yeah, well, yeah, that was very successful. No real issues. Now I've just returned from the field after firing those few shots. And um, everything went as I expected. Pretty typical of 
what happens when I use that method to introduce a pup to gunfire. Now there were, I fired four shots in total. The first two she looked over her left shoulder and then her right shoulder on the first and second shot but didn't seem too perturbed. On the third and fourth shot she paid absolutely no heed whatsoever. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Now I'm not finished with gun with the gunshots and Jessie. I ha I'll have to do a bit more work so that she's comfortable around gunfire when she's on her own. But I'll do that uh, at some point in the future. So once again, thanks very much for watching and uh, be me a kind to reach live on Kia Dorele. Slán